In this part of the training module, we look how aqua crop can develop scenarios for policy makers. An example is worked out for winter wheat, which is cultivated in the region around Tunis. It is a rain-fed crop, which is sown in November, December, and then can survive with the winter rains. The winters are mild and sufficient cool for wheat. Here we see the results of a lot of simulations. Under the current condition of rain-fed agriculture with moderate soil fertility, the yield is close to 4 tons. In a rainy year it might be above 6 tons, but in a dry year less than 2 tons per hectare. If more fertilizers are applied, the yield will increase with 1 ton, and we get an average yield of close to 5 tons per hectare. In a wet year, you can get even more than 8 tons per hectare, but in a dry year, the yield might be lower than on the less fertilized fields. With irrigation, the production can raise to close to 10 tons per hectare. The net irrigation requirements are on average 3000 cubic meter per hectare, but in a dry year it will increase to close to 4,000 cubic meters per hectare, while in a wet year it drops to 2,000 cubic meters per hectare. If irrigation water is a constraint, you can also check with aqua crop the possibilities of deficit irrigation. With only one third of the amount of water, you still can get 8 tons per hectare and the yield will be rather stable. Now making this type of graphs is helpful for policy makers. On the basis of this result, which are checked with field data, they can decide to give incentives to the farmers to put more fertilizers. They can do that, for example, by subsidizing the fertilizers. Or they can invest a lot of money in irrigation so that a lot of grain yield can be produced in the country. And if water is a constraint, they can see that in the irrigation schemes still high yields can be produced but with only one third of the amount of water applied.